In this lesson, we'll be viewing toolpaths in A360. After completing this lesson, you'll be able to use A360 to view a file and demonstrate how to create a share link. Let's carry on with the file from our previous example and let's take a look at the file dropdown and select View Details on Web. When we view Fusion files on the web, we have access to a lot of different types of information. We can take a look at the design. If we have simulation results or animations, we can see those as well. And we also have direct access to the CAM toolpaths. While this can get a little tricky in our case because we have multiple fixtures and multiple setups, note that we can take a look at things like the link in the soft jaw. If we select this and we rotate the model around, you can see that we can see exactly what the model is. We can see the toolpaths that are being used and we can take a look at all the information that was created. If we select completing a multi-axis setup, notice that we have our stock prep fixture and we can take a look at the specific parts here. If we go down, we can also select other setups. For example, soft jaw setup one. And again, as we rotate this around, we can get an idea of the toolpaths, but the bodies displayed on the screen or the components displayed on the screen are going to be based on the currently saved file. We can go into the design and we can take a look at the design itself by expanding it. And notice that in here we're only seeing stock prep fixture as well as link. So again, the components that are shown on the screen are going to be based solely on the versions of those components that were saved in the last file. So in version 14, if we're showing the specific bodies we see on the file, that's what we're going to see here. If we go back to previous versions, for example, if we go back to version 11, and we simply take a look at version 11, we're going to see different bodies and components that are visible on the screen. You'll note in this case that it is actually showing the same bodies but if we expand, we'll see different toolpaths or different things in the design based on whatever was created at that time. Version 14 is our most current version, so I'm going to navigate back to that. Keep in mind also that we can create share links and export this file in different formats if needed. When we export a file that's outside of the Fusion 360 archive file, it won't contain the toolpath data that we have but we can export all the geometry if needed. From here, if you want to create a share link, you can use the share option, which will open up the create a link dialog. We can determine whether or not we want them to be able to download it and whether or not it requires a password. Let's go ahead and copy this link and take a look at it in a browser based on those settings. When we view this in a browser with the A360 link, you'll notice that the difference that we see is in the information across the top. The user no longer has access to going back to an overview or a previous version. However, they can still open up and navigate the CAM toolpaths that are created. If they want to, we can go into the design and we can select components and we can decide whether or not we want to hide or show or isolate those bodies. For example, if we take a look at specifically just the link and go back to our CAM, we can take a look at those toolpaths, but as soon as we select one, it's going to bring back all of the bodies in this design. The user from here can decide whether or not to download an archive file, which again will contain the CAM toolpaths, or to export it as something else. And these are all based on the share link options that allow the user to download the file. So if you've created a toolpath and you want to share it with somebody, back in Fusion 360, make sure that the version you're working on, the information that you have, in the design workspace is representative of what you want shown in that link. For example, if I just show this part and I save it, version 15 when viewed on the web will contain just the link and we'll be able to see the toolpaths that are associated with it. This is the last portion of this example that we're going to use our multi-axis file. I strongly do urge you to continue to play around with it, try a few different toolpaths on it, explore what else you can do with this file, but from here, make sure that all your changes are saved and then move on to the next step.